Welcome to the lesson, An Introduction to Citizen Science. In this lesson, we will introduce key concepts and implications of citizen science for scientific research and for society. We will focus our attention on three points. First of all, definition of citizen science, then actor involved in a citizen science approach, and finally, societal benefits and also challenges in adoption of citizen science into problem solving and scientific research. So let's now introduce the characteristics that define citizen science. Citizen science is a set of empirical and methodological approaches aimed at improving public participation and citizen engagement in scientific research activities, promoting forms of collaborative and shared knowledge and awareness through data and information sharing, integrating different social and cultural and scientific perspectives in the solution of collective issues. In few words, citizen science is a collective effort to find scientific base data-driven solution to societal issue, such as environmental monitoring or preservation and valorization of cultural heritage. Two characteristics that distinguish citizen science are multidisciplinarity and transdisciplinarity. Multidisciplinarity means that the application of citizen science covers several subject areas that range from agriculture to hydrological sciences and water resource management to involve social sciences and humanities. Transdisciplinarity means that citizen science approach integrate different scientific backgrounds and research design for science-driven solution-oriented application to solve specific problems that requires support and engagement of a wide range of potential non-expert users and actors, for example, stakeholders, industries, public, public agencies, general public, etc., that are interested or impacted by the issue of interest. Even if environmental and health observation sciences is the most recurrent field application of citizen science, citizen science is also supported by social and computer science. Social sciences investigate into qualitative aspects of citizen science related to the social, cultural, and economic background and impacts, while computer sciences are focused on finding technical solutions for citizen science projects, such as the use of social media, development of web platform and user-friendly interfaces, supporting the quantitative analysis of data collection with the integration of statistical methods. We can distinguish three types of citizen science. First, contributory citizen science refers to projects designed by expert scientists where voluntary contribution is limited to data collection. Contributory citizen science can assume consultative function when authority, authoritative entities, such as governmental bodies or institutions, support scientists in research question and research design definition. Second, the collaborated citizen science refers to projects generally defined by scientists in which volunteers can contribute to refine research design and activities such as data collection and analysis and dissemination of outcomes. Co-created citizen science refers to the collaboration of scientists and volunteers from the co-design and conceptualization phase where participants are actively involved in most or all stage of scientific process. Co-created citizen science can assume transformative function when a local community leads a project. 
but who are people that can be involved in a citizen science activity? Professional scientists usually coordinate and involve groups of volunteers composed by local communities, such as civic groups and target communities, stakeholders, such as professional, cultural operators, managers, and NGOs, decision makers, such as public authorities. These actors can coordinate their effort to provide data and feedback on application of citizen science in problem solving and solution design. Thanks to digital technologies and ICTs, experts rely also on online communities collaboration. The motivation that push people to take part into citizen science projects are personal interest, altruism, curiosity, or simply enjoy. Then need to improve knowledge or skills, increasing personal scientific knowledge for better understanding of their environment or to gain political leverage. Then strengthening social relationship, improving relationship between people institutional actors and stakeholders aimed at social learning and co-management of common resource and goods. Finally, civic participation, promoting joint action and civic participation in cultural and natural heritage management. To develop a citizen science project, it's important to set a research de design, defining clear goals and adopt simple and replicable protocols. Engage target groups of volunteers for recruitment and training activities of participants. Work with data from citizen observation, collect, edit, visualize, and analyze data that citizens provide. And finally, set follow-up follow activities to disseminate results and obtain feedback and measuring also outcomes and societal impacts of the citizen science approach. To conclude, what are the benefits and challenges of citizen science? Citizen science has many social cultural benefits in terms of raising public knowledge and awareness, improving social inclusivity, empowering local communities, improving innovative monitoring tools and methods, promoting dialogue in policies implementation. Anyway, some challenges persist. For example, lack of standard and replicable protocols, personal biases that can affect final outputs, socio-technical barriers that can obstacle inclusivity and fair access to scientific participation, and then, data sensitivity and privacy issues. Thank you for your attention. For more information about the WARREDAC, please see our website.